The meter, British spelling and BIPM spelling or meter, American spelling from the French unit meter, from the Greek noun matron, measure, is the base unit of length in some metric systems including the International System of Units SI. The SI unit symbol is M. The meter is defined as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum in 1299,792,458 second. The meter was originally defined in 1793 as one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole. In 1799, it was redefined in terms of a prototype meter bar the actual bar used was changed in 1889. In 1960, the meter was redefined in terms of a certain number of wavelengths of a certain emission line of Krypton 86. In 1983, the current definition was adopted. The imperial inch is defined as 0.0254 meters, 2.54 centimeters or 25.4 millimeters. 1 meter is about 3 and 3 eighths inches longer than a yard, i.e. about 39 and 3 eighths inches. Spelling Meter is the standard spelling of the metric unit for length in nearly all English-speaking nations except the United States and the Philippines, which use meter. Other Germanic languages, such as German, Dutch, and the Scandinavian languages likewise spell the word meter. Measuring devices such as ammeter, speedometer are spelled meter in all variants of English. The suffix meter has the same Greek origin as the unit of length. Etymology The etymological roots of meter can be traced to the Greek verb metreo to measure, count or compare and noun matron a measure, which were used for physical measurement, for poetic meter and by extension for moderation or avoiding extremism as in, be measured in your response. This range of uses is also found in Latin meteor, mensura, French meter, measure, English and other languages. The motto Metro Crow, Metro Crow in the seal of the International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM, which was a saying of the Greek statesman and philosopher Pittacus of Mytilene and may be translated as, use measure, thus calls for both measurement and moderation. History of definition. In 1668 the English cleric and philosopher John Wilkins proposed in an essay a decimal-based unit of length, the universal measure or standard based on a pendulum with a two-second period. The use of the seconds pendulum to define length had been suggested to the Royal Society in 1660 by Christopher Wren. Christian Huygens had observed that length to be 38 Rhineland inches or 39.26 English inches, that is, 997 mm. No official action was taken regarding these suggestions. In 1670 Gabriel Mouton, Bishop of Lyon, also suggested a universal length standard with decimal multiples and divisions, to be based on a one-minute angle of the Earth's meridian arc or, as the Earth's circumference was not easy to measure, on a pendulum with a two-second period. In 1675, the Italian scientist Tito Livio Baratini, in his work Messora Universale, used the phrase metro catolico, universal measure, derived from the Greek matron catholicon, matron catholicon, to denote the standard unit of length derived from a pendulum. As a result of the French Revolution, the French Academy of Sciences charged a commission with determining a single scale for all measures. On 7 October 1790 that commission advised the adoption of a decimal system, and on 19 March 1791 advised the adoption of the term meter, measure, a basic unit of length, which they defined as equal to one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator. In 1793, the French National Convention adopted the proposal. This use of meter in English began at least as early as 1797. Topic. Meridional definition In 1791, the French Academy of Sciences selected the meridional definition over the pendular definition because the force of gravity varies slightly over the surface of the Earth, which affects the period of a pendulum. To establish a universally accepted foundation for the definition of the meter, more accurate measurements of this meridian were needed. 
The French Academy of Sciences commissioned an expedition led by Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Lombre and Pierre Méchain, lasting from 1792 to 1799, which attempted to accurately measure the distance between a belfry in Dunkir and Montjuic Castle in Barcelona to estimate the length of the meridian arc through Dunkir. This portion of the meridian, assumed to be the same length as the Paris meridian, was to serve as the basis for the length of the half meridian connecting the North Pole with the equator. The problem with this approach is that the exact shape of the Earth is not a simple mathematical shape, such as a sphere or oblate spheroid, at the level of precision required for defining a standard of length. The irregular and particular shape of the Earth's smooth to sea level is represented by a mathematical model called a geoid, which literally means Earth shaped. Despite these issues, in 1793 France adopted this definition of the meter as its official unit of length based on provisional results from this expedition. However, it was later determined that the first prototype meter bar was short by about 200 micrometers because of miscalculation of the flattening of the Earth, making the prototype about 0.02% shorter than the original proposed definition of the meter. Regardless, this length became the French standard and was progressively adopted by other countries in Europe. The expedition was fictionalized in Denis Guedj, Le Meter du Monde. Ken Alder wrote factually about the expedition in The Measure of All Things, the seven-year odyssey and hidden error that transformed the world. International prototype meter bar In 1867 at the Second General Conference of the International Association of Geodesy held in Berlin, the question of an international standard unit of length was discussed in order to combine the measurements made in different countries to determine the size and shape of the Earth. The conference recommended the adoption of the meter and the creation of an international meter commission. According to the proposal of Johann Jacob Bayer, Adolf Hirsch, and Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero, in the 1870s and in light of modern precision, a series of international conferences was held to devise new metric standards. The Meter Convention of 1875 mandated the establishment of a permanent International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM, Bureau International des Poids et Measures to be located in Sèvres, France. This new organization was to construct and preserve a prototype meter bar, distribute national metric prototypes, and maintain comparisons between them and non-metric measurement standards. The organization created such a bar in 1889 at the first General Conference on Weights and Measures CGPM, Conférence Générale des Poids et Measures, establishing the international prototype meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar composed of an alloy of 90% platinum and 10% iridium, measured at the melting point of ice. The original international prototype of the meter is still kept at the BIPM under the conditions specified in 1889. Topic. Wavelength definition In 1893, the standard meter was first measured with an interferometer by Albert A. Michelson, the inventor of the device and an advocate of using some particular wavelength of light as a standard of length. By 1925, interferometry was in regular use at the BIPM. However, the international prototype meter remained the standard until 1960, when the 11th CGPM defined the meter in the new International System of Units SI as equal to 1,650,763.73 wavelengths of the orange-red emission line in the electromagnetic spectrum of the Krypton-86 atom in a vacuum. Topic: <laughs> Speed of light definition. To further reduce uncertainty, the 17th CGPM in 1983 replaced the definition of the meter with its current definition, thus fixing the length of the meter in terms of the second and the speed of light. The meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1,299,792,458 second. This definition fixed the speed of light in vacuum at exactly 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately equals 300,000 kilometers per second. 
An intended byproduct of the 17th CGPM's definition was that it enabled scientists to compare lasers accurately using frequency, resulting in wavelengths with one fifth the uncertainty involved in the direct comparison of wavelengths, because interferometer errors were eliminated. To further facilitate reproducibility from lab to lab, the 17th CGPM also made the iodine stabilized helium neon laser a recommended radiation for realizing the meter. For the purpose of delineating the meter, the BIPM currently considers the HEN laser wavelength, lambda HEN, to be 632.9912125 nm with an estimated relative standard uncertainty U of 2.1 times 10 minus 11. This uncertainty is currently one limiting factor in laboratory realizations of the meter, and it is several orders of magnitude poorer than that of the second, based upon the cesium fountain atomic clock U equals 5 times 10 minus 16. Consequently, a realization of the meter is usually delineated not defined today in labs as 1,579,800.762042 wavelengths of helium neon laser light in a vacuum, the error stated being only that of frequency determination. This bracket notation expressing the error is explained in the article on measurement uncertainty. Practical realization of the meter is subject to uncertainties in characterizing the medium, to various uncertainties of interferometry, and to uncertainties in measuring the frequency of the source. A commonly used medium is air, and the National Institute of Standards and Technology has set up an online calculator to convert wavelengths in vacuum to wavelengths in air. As described by NIST, in air, the uncertainties in characterizing the medium are dominated by errors in measuring temperature and pressure. Errors in the theoretical formulas used are secondary. By implementing a refractive index correction such as this, an approximate realization of the meter can be implemented in air, for example, using the formulation of the meter as 1,579,800.762042 wavelengths of helium neon laser light in vacuum, and converting the wavelengths in a vacuum to wavelengths in air. Air is only one possible medium to use in a realization of the meter, and any partial vacuum can be used, or some inert atmosphere like helium gas, provided the appropriate corrections for refractive index are implemented. The meter is defined as the path length traveled by light in a given time, and practical laboratory length measurements in meters are determined by counting the number of wavelengths of laser light of one of the standard types that fit into the length, and converting the selected unit of wavelength to meters. Three major factors limit the accuracy attainable with laser interferometers for a length measurement. Uncertainty in vacuum wavelength of the source. Uncertainty in the refractive index of the medium. Least count resolution of the interferometer, of these, the last is peculiar to the interferometer itself. The conversion of a length in wavelengths to a length in meters is based upon the relation lambda equals c n F display style lambda equals frac c n f, which converts the unit of wavelength lambda to meters using c, the speed of light in vacuum in meter per second. Here n is the refractive index of the medium in which the measurement is made, and f is the measured frequency of the source. Although conversion from wavelengths to meters introduces an additional error in the overall length due to measurement error in determining the refractive index and the frequency, the measurement of frequency is one of the most accurate measurements available. Topic: <laughs> Timeline. The 8th of May 1790 the French National Assembly decides that the length of the new meter would be equal to the length of a pendulum with a half period of 1 second. The 30th of March 1791 the French National Assembly accepts the proposal by the French Academy of Sciences that the new definition for the meter be equal to 1 10 millionth of the length of a quadrant along the earth's meridian through Paris that is the distance from the equator to the north pole along that quadrant. 1795 Provisional meter bar constructed of brass. Based on Bessel's ellipsoid and legally equal to 443.44 lines on the Toise du Peru a standard French unit of length from 1747. The 10th of December 1799 The French National Assembly specifies the platinum meter bar, constructed on 23 June 1799 and deposited in the National Archives, as the final standard. Legally equal to 443.296 lines on the Toise du Peru. 
the 28th of September 1889 the first general conference on weights and measures CGPM defines the meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar of an alloy of platinum with 10% iridium measured at the melting point of ice the 6th of October 1927 the 7th CGPM redefines the meter as the distance at 0 degrees Celsius 273K between the axes of the two central lines marked on the prototype bar of platinum iridium this bar being subject to one standard atmosphere of pressure and supported on two cylinders of at least 10 mm 1 cm diameter symmetrically placed in the same horizontal plane at a distance of 571 mm 57.1 cm from each other 14 14th of October 1960 the 11th CGPM defines the meter as 1,650,763.73 wavelengths in a vacuum of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the 2p10 and 5d5 quantum levels of the krypton 86 atom the 21st of October 1983 the 17th CGPM defines the meter as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during a time interval of 1299,792,458 of a second. 2002 The International Committee for Weights and Measures CIPM considers the meter to be a unit of proper length and thus recommends this definition be restricted to lengths which are sufficiently short for the effects predicted by general relativity to be negligible with respect to the uncertainties of realization. <laughs> SI prefixed forms of meter SI prefixes are often employed to denote decimal multiples and submultiples of the meter, as shown in the table below. As indicated in the table, some are commonly used, while others are not. Long distances are usually expressed in km, astronomical units 149.6 gigameters, light years 10 petameters, or parsecs 31 petameters, rather than in m, gm, tm, pm, m, zm or ym, 30 centimeters, 30 meters, and 300 meters, are more common than 3 decimeters, 3 decameters and 3 hectometers, respectively. The terms micron and occasionally millimicron are often used instead of micrometer and nanometer but this practice is officially discouraged. <laughs> <laughs> Equivalents in other units Within this table, inch and yard mean international inch and international yard respectively though approximate conversions in the left column hold for both international and survey units approximately equals means is approximately equal to means equal by definition or is exactly equal to 1 meter is exactly equivalent to 10,254ths of an inch and to 10,009,144ths of a yard. A simple mnemonic aid exists to assist with conversion, as 3, 3 s 1 meter is nearly equivalent to 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths inches. This gives an overestimate of 0.125 millimeters. However, the practice of memorizing such conversion formulas has been discouraged in favor of practice and visualization of metric units. The ancient Egyptian cubit was about 0.5 meters. Surviving rods are 523 to 529 millimeters. Scottish and English definitions of the L two cubits were 941 millimeters, 0.941 meters, and 1,143 millimeters, 1.143 meters, respectively. The ancient Parisian toise fathom was slightly shorter than 2 meters and was standardized at exactly 2 meters in the measures Usuel system, such that 1 meter was exactly one half toise. The Russian verst was 1.0668 km. The Swedish mill was 10.688 km, but was changed to 10 km when Sweden converted to metric units. See also Conversion of units for comparisons with other units International system of units Introduction to the metric system ISO 1 standard reference temperature for length measurements 
Length measurement Meter convention Metric system Metric prefix Metrication Orders of magnitude length SI prefix Speed of light Vertical meter Notes <laughs>